Okay, here's part two. Um, he has an overhead that is back Y. Um, the thing about the overhead that I like is it's an overhead ground bounce, and you can dash into continuing the combo uh, as long as you're using the right combo that you dash into. So, for example, that one you can't, or you know you can't you can't dash into a, a heavy, or you can't dash into anything really, but. The quick one, two, three, the XXA combo, the, the starting with the jab combo, you can dash into after that overhead ground bounce, um, which is back Y. The normal ground bounce uh, is usual stuff. The wall bounce is usual stuff. Um, but what I'm going to recommend now is just a quick, couple quick uh, combos and stuff. Um, finishers, uh, if you're going to be chaining... Finisher, you'll establish yourself because that's just personal preference. But in terms of uh, like like chaining combos, like what what to use in the middle, uh, I was using this for a while, but I found out that uh, that does 10% damage, but this does 13% damage and has a way bigger hitbox. This last hit, that last knife hit, has a huge hitbox. So even if they're like way midair. It drags them right down. Um, unfortunately, I don't think you can combo off that. Yeah, you can't. Uh, you can't slide off that. Yeah, you can't combo off that. Unfortunately, but another thing is his um, his special his uh, special ability or his perk is uh, he goes on fire and he has this kind of uh, aura around him that lightly damages the enemy as they're close to you. Um, but the one thing about it is it can be used in the middle of combos. I haven't really messed with it yet, but I did discover that it can be used in the middle of combos and it causes 6% damage base. So I'll just show you real quick. That would be activating the special. It's 6% and then 1.2% uh, unblockable for every second that you're near him. You can do a grab or something and keep him near you, but that's it, it's not the most effective special ever, so, you know. But I'm just going to show you a couple of quick bread and butters uh, for the for the simpler guys that are not very good at this game. You're going to want to be using this, this, um, and and I think Scorpion is a real good fit for this game, and these two. Um, some people are arguing that he's not, but uh, I, I think Scorpion's a real good fit for this game. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with him. I think he fits right in with the universe, and uh, it's it's fun to kick Batman's ass as him. All right, so real quick. Uh, to start a combo with a low, uh, back X and Y is a good one. As a, Again, it sends him flying, but most of them do, uh, and it can be comboed into either Spear, which would be 16% damage, or the Teleport. The timing's a little trickier on that one, but the spear ends your combo, or either sabotages the damage, because like I said, it scales horribly after you freeze, like I'll show you right now. 